every single week, DigiKey, Anita Fruit, bringing you to the Great Search. Lady Ada, what is on the Great Search this week? Okay, so this week I just showed off my Neo Trinkets it's a little SAMD21 base board. I still really like the SAMD21, it's a great chip. Uh, it's used, uh, you know, in Arduino and CircuitPython and Rust, Zephyr, Free RTOS. I mean, like, you can program the MicroPython, you can program this in, like, so many different languages. It's a really nice, solid chip, and it can run with really minimal hardware. I thought it would be cool to uh, show all the different variants you can get on DigiKey, how to select between them. I don't think we've done a microcontroller yet, so I thought it would be, this would be a good first microcontroller for the great search. So let's... Go over DigiKey. And we'll do our search in. Okay, so let me scroll around. Okay. So um the SAMD, so there's the SAMD21, and then there's the SAMD51. The SAMD51 is the Cortex M4 family. Um it's kind of a different chip, although it shares a lot of the same peripherals. Um, there's also the SAM C and SAM L series, which I won't be talking about. The SAM L is lower power, um, but is very similar to the SAM D in many respects. The SAM C is interesting. I think the C stands for CAN bus. Um, it's a five volt version of the SAM series, but it doesn't have USB. So just watch out for that. Like if people are like, oh my God, there's a SAM C 21. Why don't you use that? It's five volt compatible. Yeah, but it doesn't have USB. And one of the things I like about the SAM D 21 is it has USB. So let's look for at SAMD21. Um, so, you know, of course, we sell tons of boards that have the SAMD21. So, you know, you can get OLEDs, breakouts, whatever, evaluation boards. You'll get your feathers there. But we want the microcontrollers. Okay, so um, as usual, let's only look for active parts. And um, note that, you know, again, some of them don't have USB, maybe. I don't know. But um, the thing that you really want to look for, there's, there's only like three different things that you can pick. The size of the chip, the amount of RAM, and the amount of flash. Now, in, like most microcontrollers, um, they're kind of tied together. The lowest pins usually also have the lowest flash and the lowest RAM, and usually you can't independently pick flash and RAM. Like, the more flash, the more RAM. You can't have something with like a ton of RAM and a little bit of flash. It doesn't work that way. Like you can, they kind of go in lockstep. Um, so it's just as long as you're aware of that. Um, so you can pick the amount of RAM and program size, um, program flash you want from 32K up to 256K. And you're pretty much paying for those three things. You're going to pay for more pins, you're going to pay for more flash, and you're going to pay for more RAM. So, you know, a common thing is you, you design with the biggest version of the chip figure out how much flash and memory your project took. And then when you go into production, you know, you just round up to the, the closest one that will fit everything you need to do. Um, but having it all be pin compatible makes it really easy to move between the families. And then of course, if your product or your project grows and increases, you can always start bumping it up. Um, uh, so that said, um, another thing to look at is the package and device. So. You know, in my case, um, I wanted the smallest, physically smallest one. Um, so the WLCSP is going to be literally the smallest one, right? This is this is tiny. Um, it's only two by two millimeters. Um, that said, it only has 32K of flash or 64K of flash, these two versions. Um, and that's that's not enough for me. I actually want to be able to run CircuitPython on these. I need at least 32K of RAM and 256K of flash. Um, but still interesting to see. Microchip, um, you know, they, they kind of always have like a teeny BGA version and then QFN and then go up to QFP. I kind of like QFN the most. Like if you had to pick one package, I like QFNs. Why do I like QFNs? Well, QFPs, you know, they have more pins, but they the pins get bent sometimes, especially doing rework. I've always had like the most yield success with QFNs. But, you know, talk to your manufacturer to decide um, what package you want. So of the QFNs, um, there is a bunch of different versions. There's the 21Gs, the 21Es, Js, 18s, and all those characters, you know, stand for different variables that you can adjust. So the E, when it says SAMD21E, the E stands for 32 pin. And then the G stands for 48 pin. 
and the J stands for 64 pins. So that's, the, that's the biggest you can get at the Sam D21s, so a 64 pin um, chips. So, you know, physically the larger they get, usually the more, more pins you want. Um, so you can pick the E subcode if you want just the smallest, physically smallest um, QFN. And then the digits afterwards, like the 17 and 18 and 15, those stand for, uh, is it 15? The 15, those stand for um, how much flash and RAM. And um, like I said, the flash and RAM on these chips kind of go in lockstep. So let me close my, actually, let me just open up the data sheet. In the data sheet, you will see a um, ordering information page. And you'll want to use this. this. This, again, tells you pin count is this letter code. And then flash memory is the number code. So in our case, we want 18. We want the most flash memory. And we want E for the smallest size. So um, smallest, sorry, I'll scroll up. Smallest, uh, physically smallest, but memory-wise largest. And then... There's silicon revisions. Um, you know, I there, there's there's variants, but basically you're only going to really see the A variant unless you there's I guess they made them for some special customer or something. Um, but in our case, the variants we don't really see any other options. And then um, the dash M U T is for the package again QFN QFP or BGA. Um, and then the package grading how it's packaged and uh, the temperature grade, and then whether it comes in tape or in tray. So, but that doesn't matter for me as much. Um, so again, I want to have the 256K of flash, and I want the smallest number of IL. And it's what I got. So I've got a couple different options. The um, MFT, you know, these are all Sam D21E 18s but they come in MFT, MU, MF, MUT, and MF, right? So you're like, what's the difference? Go back to the data sheet and you can quickly tell, okay, they're all M, so that's QFN. And then the U or the F just stands for whether it's 40 to 85 or 40 to 125. Basically, is it industrial or is it commercial temperature level? You probably don't care, or at least I don't care, right? It doesn't matter to me whether I'm getting industrial commercial temp. Um, so that's when I would basically put in, you know, okay, let's see the, the pricing at 1,000 pieces. And I just pick the cheapest, right? Which in this case happens to be the, the commercial temperature range tray. This is the one I like, the MU, the MU series. Um, but again, you can also get the MUT, which is like, you know, basically the same price. It's like six cents more. Um, the nice thing about this version is it comes on uh, tape and reel, which you know, might be beneficial for you depending on your manufacturing. Um, our machines take tray or tape very well. They don't like tube. So just, you know, if you go into manufacturing, just check with your manufacturer to see how they want the chips packaged. But that's it, the MU series. So I, this is the chip I like. I use this in the Gemmas, the Trinkets, Neo Trinky. Um, this chip is awesome. It's really easy to use. Uh, it's easy to load it with our UF2 bootloader and there's bootloader protection. Once you put the bootloader protection, it's pretty much, you know, nearly indestructible. It's very rare that we've seen people frazzle their bootloader. Um, it's nice and solid. And then you can load Arduino or CircuitPython. And, you know, for the size and price, it's quite powerful. It's 48 megahertz, 256K of flash, 32K of RAM. So good enough to run some basic CircuitPython code or quite a bit of Arduino or Rust or um, Zephyr code. That's my great search at Sandy 21E18.